What's going on, it's Andy Minio. I'm gonna show you guys how I made the beat for Herman Miller with Ty Shane, AKA Beam. So let's walk through how this whole song came together. This song started probably two years ago and this was the synth that began it all. So I added drums to it. You gotta start with a little hi-hat. Easy. Threw a kick in there. A little snare in 808. Boom. And I sent it over to John, words played. He always is somebody I send my stuff to and he was like, yo, this beat is kind of hard. So I was like, bet. It was plenty enough for me to lay my ideas down and to build something. So with that synth, it made me think like old school Memphis flow. There's a dude named Project Pat. And for some reason when I'm laying references, I always laid down his cadence, which is ta-ta, ta-ta. <laughs> It, da, da, like pancake up. It's just this fun, interesting flow. I was kind of playing around with that. I laid that little idea sitting good. That's that Herman Miller. Sitting good. That's that Herman Miller. Eating good, baby. That's the chick filler. That was all I had. That was the whole section. I put the song away for like a year and I got into the studio with Vori and Beam. We were working on a bunch of music and I was just kind of playing them things that I had worked on and I brought this one up. And so I put the beat on, Vori starts dancing around the studio and we start bouncing cadences off each other. And all of a sudden I was like, yo, let's just lay some verses. So Vori jumps on the mic, I jump on, we all start laying ideas down. We're having a good time in the studio and Ty Shane comes through and kills the whole vibe and goes, I don't like the scent. I was like, you don't like the scent? The scent is the whole thing. And he's like, nah, it's just not feeling it. Then I was like, yo, listen, I trust you. You're the sauce god. Takes my, my synthesizer and he runs it through something and he speeds it up like 400%. And it comes out sounding like this. And I was like, bro, what is this, Tron? What are we doing here? He was like, nah, that's fire, that's fire, that's fire. And, and I had this moment when I was like, yo, part of me is like, I don't wanna use that. Nobody raps over beats that are that fast. And then the other part of me was intrigued by that same thing. Like, nobody does this, so why don't you approach it to make it something different? We stuck with it. That's when Ty Shane started throwing some drums on there. We started with a little kick. Throw your hi-hat in there. Little snare. Little hat. And of course, a menacing, enormous 808. I need you to understand how hard these drums are hitting without that synth. Good drums. We did that, moved on to the second part. I kept Ty Shane's drums. I added this other sample for the second half of the record to kind of just change the pace of it. I do that a lot in my songs. I, I just take a sharp turn left somewhere and I bring you into a new section that is hopefully delightful and surprising. And this was the sample. So basically I took something and I stretched it out so far that it kind of started to warp and gave me a really cool effect. And then on top of it, I added this one extra sound that gave a slight lift to the record. You don't want sections to be too repetitive. You want to introduce new elements to keep the excitement or the ear intrigued. And so I added this little sound right here. When you mix that in, it's... Kind of creepy, eerie. Throw some hard drums on it. Triple fat goose on me because you know it's cold out. So after that second half of the beat, which is basically the same drums and just a different sample, we go on to the ending. And this is one of my favorite parts of the record. I built this wild sound at the end of the beat.
And you're probably thinking that's a synthesizer. That's actually drums. I don't even know how I did. I was just playing around. Here's the original. And I freaked the EQ so hard in the mid range. And I put distortion on it. And I created a synth sound out of drums. Honestly, I mean, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but beep beep, it's pretty great. We took that crazy synth sound and we added drums to it. And it went a little something like this. That's not it. I pulled up some drums from my boy Illmind, the producer. One of them that sounds is like a, a bowl as a snare and then the other kick is just kind of this big stomping kick. So mix that with this crazy sound I did. You got this. And that's how the song ends. So those are three different sections of the beat. It all came together to kind of just be this unorthodox song that's just a lot of fun to do live and hopefully it'll push somebody through their workout. You know what I'm saying? That's half of what I do when I make music. If you want to hear the full song, make sure you go check out Herman Miller. It's on my project, Happy Thoughts, right now. Turn it up, enjoy it. You know, subscribe, like, do the whole thing, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. All right.